Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 10 of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the Scheepjes Crochet Along 2018 and I'll be using Stone Washed and River Washed XL yarn in this video because I'll be using the large kit to make my blanket. In part 10 we'll be extending the border that we've already been starting with. We're going to be adding lots of beautiful colored details to our border. Take you step by step through all of these rounds. Hope it's a useful video for you and thank you for watching. Round 14 of the border. Currently in that first standing stitch, I'm going to move with a slip stitch to the chain corner space. The corner is a treble, chain one and a treble. So that means we're just going to start with a chain four. So the first chain 3 counts as a treble, and then chain 1 plus another treble to make the first corner. So I'm just going to move my stitch marker up. I'm just going to take it with me to mark my corner. On the straight edge, in the first treble here, well it's actually a double treble, work a treble in there. So in that first stitch work a treble. And this first stitch is going to be surprisingly easy to forget because you're going to get into the flow of working in the chain spaces. So remember this first stitch. We're now going to do a small repeats. We're going to work three trebles in all the chain two spaces. And in the chain one spaces we're going to work a treble on each and a chain one in between to skip that stitch. Let me show you. Three trebles in the chain two space. One, two, three trebles. Then in the chain one space, the next chain one space. So you're going to skip all these trebles themselves. You're going only going to be working in um, chain spaces. To be a treble, then chain one. So now you're going to skip this stitch. I believe that was a double crochet actually, and then in this space work. This you're going to repeat 21 more times, so 22 times in total. That'll bring you just about to the other corner. Remember here that chain one space, insanely easy to forget. I'll show you the repeat again. Chain two space, work three trebles. That's one, two, three trebles in the chain one space. Move things a bit. Work a treble, chain one, and then the next chain one space work another treble. Now I've done the repeat twice, and I'm going to do it 20 more times, and then I'll just see you here on, on, on the equivalent of that side at the other corner. I'll just show you the last bits and to go around the corner. So do this, so there's three trebles, treble, chain one, treble. Do that 20 more times. Almost to the corner. So here's the next corner. I've done the repeat 22 times. So this is the last repeat you see here. So it's a three trebles in the chain two space, three treble, um, sorry, one treble in the chain one space, chain one, and a treble in that second chain one space. All went right, you've got one chain two space left. In this last space, work three trebles. So one, two, three trebles. The next up is the corner, but first on this stitch here work a treble. So on that last, very last stitch work a treble. Because you'll notice that you might get in a flow of working in these chain spaces and then you end up forgetting that treble. So this treble, remember the treble, and of course also those chain one spaces also easy to forget. Then in the corner here, work a new corner. It's going to be a treble, chain one, and a treble. I'm going to move my stitch marker up to the next corner. You don't have to if you don't want to. And that's my new corner. Now we're ready to start all the same again. 
So on the first stitch work a treble, then three trebles in a chain space, in a chain two space, one treble, chain one, to skip that stitch, and then another treble in the second chain one space. Go all the way around and we get to the first stitch, that'll be the chain th third chain, the chain three of that starting chain four, close with a slip stitch. Round 15 of the border, currently in that third chain there with the slip stitch. I'm just going to slip into the chain space. And now I can start the corner. The corner is a half treble, chain one and a half treble. So the half treble, the first one is a chain two, plus one more chain, so that gives you a chain three, and then a half treble in the same space. And that's in your corner. So I'm just going to move the stitch marker up. So that's the corner. Half treble, chain one and a half treble. On the straight edge, we're going to skip the first stitch. That's this one. I'm going to skip that. Then go to the next and work a half treble. And that's the first of five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. So we've got five half trebles, so skipping that first stitch, five half trebles. And then you're at the chain space, this is chain one space, also work a half treble in there. And this you're going to be repeating until you're almost to the other side. On the next five stitches you work a half treble, and then in the chain space you work one half treble. So on these next five stitches, a half treble on each. Two, three, four, five, and then you're at the chain space and you work a half treble in there. Repeat this and it's almost until you're to the other side, to the next corner. So I'll see you if you're going to work five half trebles and then the chain in the chain one space a half treble, etc. etc. until you're to that last chain one space. I'll see you there when you've worked that last half treble. I'm almost to the next corner. See here I've worked those five half trebles and then in the chain space another half treble. And at this point you should have six stitches left before your chain corner space. In those last six stitches you're going to work a half treble on each. That's one, two, three, four, five, and that last stitch number, six. So six half trebles. Now you're onto the chain corner space, so that means a half treble chain one, the chain one is your new corner, and another half treble. Let's move my stitch marker to my new corner. You can do this also if you want to, but you don't have to. Then that's the new corner. And now you're ready to repeat everything you've just done. So you're going to skip the first stitch, then work five half trebles in that chain space, work a half treble, then again five half trebles, Next chain space, work a half treble, go all the way around. Remember always you've got, you'll have um, six stitches before the corner and five stitches after the corner because you're going to be skipping that first stitch. When you get to your, all the way around, when you get to the beginning, you'll have the chain three, then close on the second chain with the slip stitch. You can also cut your yarn because we're using a new color in the next round. Round 16 of the border, I have contrast color 4 on my hook with a slip knot. I'm going to start in any corner stitch. I've got my stitch marker there in that chain corner space. I'm going to start in there with a standing double crochet. So the corner is going to be a double crochet, chain 2 and a double crochet. The first one is a standing stitch, standing double, chain 2, 
And that chain 2 is my new corner, so I'm just going to hook my stitch marker over that chain 2. And then complete the corner by working another double in that same space. So that's the corner, double, chain 2 and a double crochet. For the straight edge, I'm going to skip the very first stitch. That's that little stitch that's also kind of being covered there by the corner. So we're going to skip that stitch and immediately go to the second. And that will be the start of a repeat unit. So we're going to work seven double crochets and then work a small shell. And that we're going to do something like 11 times. I'm going to skip this first stitch and then in the second work a double. And that's the first of seven. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Going to skip the next two stitches, so those two, going to skip that, and in the stitch after, going to work um, five trebles as a small shell. So skip those two. And then here in that third stitch, I'm going to work five trebles. That's going to give us a nice little half circle. Two, three, four, and five trebles. Then again, skipping the next two stitches. One, two. Go to the third and work a double. And this. This double crochet is actually the start of the next repeat unit. So this double is exactly the same as this very first double we worked there. So this stretch from the double up until the five trebles here and skipping the two stitches, that you're going to work 11 times in total. So you need to do 10 more. I'll show you the repeat once more. Just before I do so, I'd just like to show you exactly in which stitch this shell falls and it'll fall in the same stitch every time. If you look here you'll see here you've got these three trebles that we worked into a chain space. I believe that was a chain two space if I recall correctly. Then this third of those three trebles, if you look at the half double that's in there, sorry the half treble that's in there, you'll see that's where you've got your five trebles. So the five trebles are in the half treble that's in the last treble of those three. That means we're going to do the repeat unit again. So we're going to work seven doubles. That means we're going to be skipping this little group of three. But we'll go to this group of three. You see here there's the third treble. Then there's the half treble that's in that. And that's also the stitch in which our next shell like this will fall. So that's just a checkpoint for you. It's always when you're working these these five trebles just see that you're still in that, if you come down, if you're in that third stitch there. Because if you're not, you've either worked, I don't know, you've worked uh, eight doubles for example, then it'll all move up one, or you've worked six, or you didn't skip two stitches but you skipped one. And, you know, there, there, there are many things that, that, that you could accidentally do here that'll uh, make your stitch count off. So just use this as a marker, as a checkpoint every um, just every shell, just just quickly double check then you catch, catch your mistakes early. I'm going to show you the repeat one more time. So this here was the first double, and that one is the first double of seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. So seven doubles. Then we need to skip two stitches. So that's one, two skip. And then the third stitch work five trebles. And just double check is that that's yes, that's in that stitch, that's in that stitch. So you see it are still lined up. That's one. And then this is two, three. Four, five trebles, skip one, two stitches, and come to the third, 
and then this double is again the same as that double. So, I don't know, did I say skip two trebles? It's of course half trebles. So we'll skip two stitches and then work that double, which is the same as this double. So this piece, going to do that, I believe, nine more times. Then I'll see you at the end when you're almost to the corner. You'll have just finished this, this shell, and I'll see you at that point. I've just done the repeat 11 times and there are now 9 stitches left till the corner. Those first two are actually still part of the repeat. So if you're very technical you say, no, okay, there are 7 stitches left. It kind of depends on how you look at it. But it's 7 plus 2. You're going to skip those two stitches because they're still part of the repeat. And then on those last 7 stitches you work a double crochet on each. So 7 doubles to the end. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one here is seven. The chain space, going to work a new corner, so that's a double chain 2, you move the stitch marker if you want to and then work another double in the chain corner space. And that's a new corner and this corner is exactly the same as the corner we started with. That means you're going to skip that first stitch and then work 7 doubles, skip 2 and then work this, this, this little shell the same as here. Go all the way around at the end you'll work your last shell, skip two stitches, work those last seven double crochets and then close on the corner, that's the first double, you'll close on that with a slip stitch. You can cut your yarn, because next round is a new colour. Round 17 of the border. I have contrast colour 2 on my hook with a slip stitch, oh sorry, a slip knot. I'm going to start with this color in any corner space, any chain two corner space. Start with a standing double treble. It's twice over. Hold on to your yarn and in this corner space make a standing stitch. I'm going to remove the stitch marker at this point. I'm actually not going to use it again in this round because our corner it's not going to consist of two stitches as it has up till now, but actually of, um, of five stitches with chains in between. So this is the first stitch, and then chain one and another double treble. Now you have two double trebles. You want five double trebles, so we're going to do this four, more, four times in total. So we've just done once. Chain one, another double treble. I've got three, chain one, now you've got four, chain one, and now you've got five. This entire thing is your corner, so it's not just one space, this entire shell here is your corner. So you've got the double treble, chain one, double chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, double. So you've got five double trebles and four chain ones in between. For the straight edge, we're going to skip the first three stitches and then start with a double crochet in the fourth and that double crochet will be the first stitch of our repeat unit. So skipping these three stitches, the first one is really hidden by your, by your shell, so that's one, two, three stitches skip and go to stitch number four and work a double crochet. And that double crochet is the start of our repeat unit. So that double crochet, then in the next we work a double chain three and a double. Double chain three, two, three and another double in the same space. So that gives you a bit of a loop there. In the next stitch work another double. That's nice and 
symmetrical. You have two stitches left before we get to the small shell. You're going to skip those two stitches and then here on the shell you're going to work in the first stitch two trebles, in the second stitch two trebles, in the third stitch two double trebles, chain one and two double trebles. You're going to have four big stitches in that center one, then in the fourth one again two trebles and then the last one again two trebles to make a symmetric pattern on the shell. So that's what we're doing. Skip in those two stitches and then come to the shell. And that's one, two trebles on the first, on the second two trebles, the third stitch a double treble, actually you need two, so two double trebles, chain one, and again two double trebles in the same stitch. So that stitch is going to be very full. You just kind of push all your stitches in there, the one after the other. And the last two stitches work two trebles in each. So twice over. Oh sorry, it's just once over. That's one treble second treble and the last stitch again two trebles so one two so that gives you a bit of a triangular shape there I'm going to skip the next two stitches those are those first two doubles and then in the third stitch work a double crochet And, and that double crochet is exactly the same as this first one here. So up until that, um, up until there, so including the skip two stitches part, um, that's your repeat unit. Going to do this ten more times. You want to do eleven times in total. I'll show you the repeat once more, and then I'll do a jump in the video. So uh, skipping the two, then that double crochet. That's the first stitch of the repeat. Move things around a bit because my blanket is awfully big. In the next stitch, a double crochet, chain three. It'll give you a nice little loop, and another, and again a double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, a double. So you're going to have these these um, yeah these little things between your shells. You have two stitches left before the next shell. I'm going to skip those two. And on the shell, work two trebles in the first stitch. One, two, work two trebles in the second stitch. One, two. In the third stitch, going to work two double trebles, chain one, and two double trebles. It's one double treble. This is double treble number two. Chain one. And again, two more double trebles. It's one. Two. So that's the corner stitch, or the corner stitch, the, the tip point. And on your last two stitches, two trebles in each. So one, two, and the last one. One, two. Skip two stitches, those two, and the third stitch work a double. And that double is, of course, again, the same as that double there. So I've now done the repeat twice with you, well, plus one stitch. Going to work this nine more times. You want eleven 
of these. So you're going to work on all your, your little shells. And then I'm going to do a jump in the video and then after you work those last two trebles in that last little shell, I'll see you there just for this last bit, the last stretch and the next corner. Almost to the end here. I've just done this, uh, this, this last shell. And now I'm going to skip two stitches and then work the last bits of the of this edge. Skipping those two stitches is actually still part of the repeat unit. So one, two, and then here work a double. And you're you're going to work another another little group like this. So that's a double, then on the next again a double chain three and a double in the same stitch. And then on your last, or the next stitch I should say, you make the last double crochet. If all went right, you have a three stitches left before the corner. You're going to skip those three stitches. Then in the chain corner space we work again that big corner. So that's five double trebles with chain ones in between. So twice over. And in that space work a double treble, chain one. So it's one double treble. I'm actually going to remove the stitch marker. I'm going to leave it out for this round. Next round we'll be placing markers again. And this is two, chain one. This is three, chain one. This is four, chain one, and the last one here, five. There you go. And that is your corner made. So there's five double trebles with the chain ones in between. This corner is the same as the corner we started with. That means here on the next edge you can dot your repeat again. So you're going to skip the first three stitches and then in the fourth work a double. I'm just going to work that stitch. That's one, two, three skip. And then work a double. And that is of course the start of your repeat unit. Go all the way around. So work another double, chain three, double, double, work the shell, etc. etc. After you've worked this last stitch here, you'll have worked that double crochet. Close on the standing um, double treble with a slip stitch. That'll be the equivalent of this stitch. So you'll be skipping those last three stitches then close there with a slip stitch. You can also cut your yarn. The next round is a new colour. Round 18. For round 18 we're going to use contrast colour 6. That's the colour I have on my hook here. And we're going to start on any little shell. You've got the shell of those double trebles. On the first double treble we're going to start with a back post um, double crochet so around that first stitch. Work a back post double crochet, standing one in this case. Chain one. On the next stitch again a back post double crochet. Chain one, back post, double crochet. Chain one, and the second last one, back post, double. Chain one, and here on the last, this last double treble, back post, double crochet. It turns your um, your your stitches forward, so you get a nice little edge there. You'll notice it, it does wobble just a little bit, and this this round will uh, will wobble a little bit. So don't uh, don't stress about that. Everything will be fine. We can do a chain two, and then we're starting a repeat. Two, chain two. Let me just explain to you what we're going to do before we actually do the repeat. To start the repeat, we're going to skip this stitch here, the first double crochet. We're going to skip that. And then around these two doubles we're going to work a back post double and then we'll be skipping that stitch again with a chain one but 
to work the back post double around these two stitches. Now, a back post double, you, you might very easily find yourself doing this. This is not correct because you're working through the top of the stitches. You need to work around the post of the stitches. Now, if you pull this up and really force your work open, you'll see there's a little loop there. That loop. You also need to get under that loop. Same on this side. There's also a little loop there. So on the, on the, the um, so behind, so after the stitch. So this is the top of the next stitch, but below here, there's also a, a loop. If I can just get you to see it there, that's the loop. I've also got a little knot in that loop actually. So when I do the back post double, it's important to get under that loop as well. You see there's a loop. So now under all the loops. And then on this side again underneath also that loop. So this is the way you're going to be doing the back post double crochet. Now of course with the yarn. So let me just pick up my yarn. So to start the repeat, we're skipping the first stitch here and then go underneath that um, first double crochet that's in the middle and then come out on this side again underneath all those loops grab your yarn and bring everything back and now you can complete the double crochet as normal and then you see you've really um, worked around the post of both of those double crochets I'll show you again. I will do the repeat once more and then I'll show this to you again. Chain one. Skipping this, um, this double crochet on the triangle, you've got six stitches, work a double crochet on each. That's one, two, three, four, five. You're now in a chain one space. In the chain one space, work a half treble, chain one, and a half treble. So half treble, chain one, and a half treble. So that's a new little point there. Then we come down and work again a double on the six stitches of the triangle. And that first one here, be sure to also grab that one, the first one. That's one. Two, three, four, five, and here is number six. Chain one. And now you've done the entire repeat. So from starting from skipping that first stitch there up until this chain one, that's the repeat. We've done once, we're now going to do 10 more times. I'll show you once more. I'm just going to rotate my work a little bit because this blanket is insanely large at this point. If you have the XL kit, yours will be two, I'm sure. The next repeat, we're going to skip this double crochet, then around these two center double crochets, we work again a back post double. Then you would chain one to skip this um, this last double. So that, so you're going to have a chain one on either side to skip those two doubles. So again here, not through the top of the loop, top of the stitch, but really go underneath all of those loops. Show you again. No, that's actually too deep. See, I've now pushed in there. That's too deep. You don't want to go that far. But there's that little loop. And then on this side, again, not through the top of the stitch, so this would be incorrect. Really try to scoop out exactly where is that third loop, and sometimes you just have to push your hook in there. See, there's that, that, that third little loop. So getting underneath all your loops. See, there are, there are all of them. And then bring everything back 
I think I'll pleat the double crochet. So you're making this nice and snug, making this little tip push really up and uh, making it more pronounced. Chain one. Remember these chain ones. You'll, I think these are these are again easy to forget because you're so busy with this back post double that you kind of end up forgetting the chain one. Coming up here on the triangle, so we're going to skip that stitch. Then on the triangle, work a double crochet on the six stitches, so one on each stitch here. So one, two, this is three, four, five, six. The chain space, half treble, chain one, half treble. This triangle is nice and easy. The, uh, the back, that, that, that back post double, that, that's a tricky one. And then come down and work a double on each of these six stitches. So remember also the first one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one. Now I've done the repeats twice with you. So this one and this one. You need to do nine more. And that's a point where I'll see you back. So then you'll ha be on the equivalent on the next corner. You'll be on this, where is it here? On that last triangle. And you'll have done the chain one. Then I'll just see you for the last bit and the new corner. Almost to the shell. Here's the next shell. I've now done all of those repeats. I've done them 11 times. Chain one. That's still part of the repeat. Need to work a back post double around these this last little um, these last two stitches, and then we work the shell. So chain one. Let's just skip that stitch. And then again, work a back post double around this last one. Here, be sure to get all of those loops. You see, I've got there all of them. And then on this side again. Sometimes it just helps. You just kind of poke your hook in there and you see, okay right now you've got the hook, that loop grab your yarn pull everything to the back and then complete the double there you go. Now, to work the shell chain two one two it's easy to remember when you before and after the shell you have a chain two at all other places it's a chain one. So important here, chain two. Now I'm going to work a back post double on all of these double trebles with chain ones in between. So around the first one, back post double, chain one. Back post double, chain one. Back post double, chain one. Back post double, Chain one, last one here, back post, double. There you go. And this stitch is the same stitch as on the last shell, so that means we're going to start the repeat unit again for the next edge. That means a chain two, one, two. So you see on either side of the shell you have a chain two. Skip that, this, uh, this first double. And work a back post double around those two exactly the same way as here. Chain chain one then, skipping that stitch, come up, work the doubles, the chain space, work the half trebles, etc. etc. and go all the way around. Then when you get to your first stitch, you're going to do this last back post double, chain two, and they're going to close on this stitch, the equivalent of this stitch, just this standing um, standing back post. Uh, double crochet that we made right at the beginning. Close there with a slip stitch. Then you can also cut your yarn but you're not quite finished yet because we need to place a few stitch markers before this round is completely finished. We've gone all the way around, we've done all the crochet bits of this round. You still need to place four stitch markers on each corner. So the corner is made up of these shells You've got those uh, back post single crochets there at the back. We're going to be placing two stitch markers on either side of the 
corner. So I'm going to start on this side. You've got the back post, double crochets, and then you have a chain two space. So after that chain two space, you've got this back post, double again, and then there's a chain one space. In that chain one space, put a marker. So this is the first chain one space after the chain two there. Then I'm going to skip the next stitch, that's this one, I'm going to skip that, then move one on and place a marker. Those two stitches you've just marked. We're now going to do the same on this side. So we're going to actually be doing the symmetrical. So you've got the chain two, and there's that chain one space. Again, put a marker in there. I'm going to count, well, basically count backwards. So then that stitch you're going to skip, and then counting backwards, that second last stitch there. I'm going to put a marker in there. These four stitches I've now marked on this one corner. You're going to do this on the other five corners also. So you're going to be marking 24 stitches in total, so four per each corner. Um, you can use the stitch markers that you've got in your kit, that would be very useful for this. Go all the way around, and you've marked all of these stitches, you've finished part 10 already of Ubuntu.